In our other big story today, the murder trial of Lori Vallow Daybell has finally started after more than three years. Mike Hedrick is anchoring our team coverage from Boise tonight. Mike, the first day was spent selecting jurors. Yes, it was day one of jury selection. Here's the thing, Danny. They are still not finished selecting jurors in here for this trial. It has been a long morning, a long afternoon. What they're looking for here is 18 people, 12 jurors and six alternates. What they're going to decide is whether or not Lori Vallow Daybell is guilty or innocent in the deaths of her daughter, her son, Tylee and JJ, and her husband's late wife, Tammy. With me this morning, Lauren Steinbrecher. She was in the courtroom today watching all the elements proceed here. And Lauren, it was interesting as we watch this, there's definitely a strategy on both the defense and the prosecution here to get the right jurors in place. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. I mean, it's still going on this evening as they question people feeling out who really would fit and who do, uh, who can sit and fairly be uh, serving in this trial. Now, uh, Rob Wood was asking groups today, can everybody in this room commit to following the law as it's given to you by the judge rather than relying on what you think should be the law? Now, wanting to make sure that people that they choose will do everything by the books as laws are written, truly listening to both sides from scratch. Now, at every turn of questioning, potential jurors were dismissed because they just did not qualify for one reason or another. According to KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis, this is about finding people who can say with complete honesty they have not already formed an opinion or judgment on Lori Vallow Daybell. The jurors are going to say, I know about the case. That's not the question. The question is, given what you know about the case, can you still make an opinion and base your decision solely on the evidence that you're about to hear during this trial. Yeah, we learned a lot of jurors have heard about this case before, and so they were questioned further. That's what's happening with this third group here this evening that we're still waiting on. A representative for the prosecution team says the goal, the court's goal, is to select 42 jurors. From there, they're going to do even more questioning to get that number down to the final 12 with the six alternates. Okay, so there is a big question about the judge's decision on Kay and Larry Woodcock and whether or not they can sit in court, something we've been reporting on since last week. We still do not have a uh, decision from Judge Boyce on that, so we're awaiting that. I'll be hopping back in to court after I'm done here uh, to see that third and final group, uh, and hopefully after that, court will be done for the day before picking back up with jury selection again tomorrow. Mike. Okay, great job inside there. We really appreciate it, Lauren. Thank you.